How life on Earth began is the ultimate cold case. Most of the evidence has been lost along the way. We do know a few things, though. One is that for the last 3.6 billion years, Earth has been home to one bizarre life form after another. And that at the cellular and molecular level, all living things are related. That's right. The simple DNA code that holds the recipe for all living things links all life on Earth to a single common ancestor. So what was it? And where did it come from? One of the few remaining clues to our origins lies in Western Australia. These ancient rock formations, called stromatolites, are the earliest evidence of life on Earth. They're the product of fossilized cyanobacteria, or blue-green algae. Ancient as they were, these cyanobacteria were biologically complex. They had cell walls protecting their protein-producing DNA. In fact, they were so advanced, scientists think life must have begun much earlier. But evidence of earlier life has been hard to find, and there's a pretty good reason why. Scientists think the cyanobacteria in these rock formations killed just about every form of life that came before it. So what happened? Our planet was a much harsher place 3.6 billion years ago than it is today. The atmosphere had no oxygen. There were no plants, animals, or insects. The sea was loaded with bacteria, but most of it was anaerobic, the only kind capable of surviving in such an oxygen-starved primordial soup. Then a stranger appeared on the horizon, and little by little, the planet changed forever. This upstart arrived in the form of cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria are photosynthetic. They convert sunlight into energy and produce oxygen as a waste product. As cyanobacteria flourished, their oxygen waste started building up in the water and atmosphere. And as oxygen levels increased, the existing anaerobic bacteria started dying off. To them, oxygen was toxic. As the thriving blue-green algae slowly poisoned the atmosphere, the surviving anaerobic bacteria fled to the bottom of the sea. The oxygen users may have won the day, but the die-off destroyed all of the evolutionary links to our first ancestors, the anaerobes. How they made that first giant leap from non-living to living remains one of life's greatest mysteries. Somewhere on Earth, around four billion years ago, a set of molecular reactions switched on and became life, creating little molecules. These little molecules began interacting with each other. The reactions produced compounds that fed back into the cycle, creating more reactions and more molecules. The process culminated in one of these molecules being able to copy itself, and by doing that, Genetic information could be passed down. But what was the switch that was flipped? What breathed life into those first Franken molecules? A number of theories have been put forward. One early experiment set out to prove that lightning might have supplied the energy needed to trigger life on Earth in its early days. Researchers created an early Earth atmosphere by sealing water, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen in flasks connected with a loop. The liquid water was heated to induce evaporation. When the researchers simulated lightning by adding a spark, they found that the solution in the flask contained something it hadn't before. Amino acids. 
Proteins play a crucial role in almost all biological processes, and amino acids are their building blocks. It seemed the lightning experiment worked. But there are other sources of energy that could have triggered the same chemical reactions needed for life. Another popular theory is that simple metabolic reactions occurred near ancient seafloor hot springs, enabling the leap from a non-living to a living world. These vents still fuel strange underwater ecosystems inhabited by giant tube worms, blind shrimp, and sulfur-eating bacteria. Many researchers believe these complex, high-pressure, mineral-rich environments may be the source of all life on our planet. But recently, a radical new idea has been put on the table. Scientists are close to demonstrating that the building blocks of DNA can form spontaneously from chemicals thought to be present on early Earth. That would mean DNA could have formed before the birth of life. Then the question would become, how did DNA originate? We're still a long way from finding out how life appeared on Earth. But clues may be closer than we think. Our own DNA may hold the answer to one of life's greatest unknowns, the mystery of life itself.